Hello again, I'm Rodney Reynolds and welcome to another video review. Today I'm looking at the HIS HD 5850 1GB GDDR5 video card. What's included with the HIS HD 5850 video card is an installation guide, case badge, software and drivers, Dirt 2 DirectX 11 game, Crossfire Bridge, DVI to VGA adapter, two 6-pin power adapters, and the HIS Gamers Toolkit. This toolkit includes a light, a screwdriver, a level, and a dust cleaner. The cooler is really large and it's comprised of a plastic top with a blower style fan. This fan pulls in cool air and forces it across the heatsink, then ports all the warm air outside the case. It has heat pipes which are incorporated in the heatsink, there are lots of fins, and the base plate comes in direct contact with the GPU and memory. There are four video connections, two DVI, a display port, and one HDMI connection which fully supports 7.1 channel audio. Also at the top are the Crossfire bridge connections. There are two 6-pin power cable connections and the maximum power consumption is 151 watts at max load and 27 watts at idle. So a quality power supply that can handle the load is very crucial, especially in a multiple video card crossfire configuration. The core speed on this product is 725 megahertz and the one gigabyte of GDDR5 256 bit memory is four gigahertz DDR. It comes with 1,440 stream processing units for vertex, pixel, and geometry data, 72 texture units, and 32 raster operations. The pixel fill rate is 23.2 gigapixels per second. The texture fill rate is 52.2 gigatexels per second and the memory bandwidth is 128 gigabytes per second. This product has too many technologies to cover in detail in this video, but let me mention the main ones. It has TerraScale 2 unified processing architecture for physics. Image quality enhancement allows sharper scenes. Stream acceleration technology to run applications faster. Crossfire X multi-GPU technology allows dual, triple, and quad GPU scaling and PowerPlay power management technology, which enables low power consumption at idle. It also has Ifinity technology, which enables many displays to be connected at once. For example, three displays can be connected simultaneously and each display can have a resolution up to 2560 by 1600 which is an incredible amount of desktop real estate. While the other technologies are impressive, DirectX 11 really stands out, especially amongst gamers. This image clearly shows the difference between DirectX 10 and DirectX 11. DirectX 11 allows more eye candy because it gives game developers the tools required to produce mind-blowing graphics, effects, and much more. Additionally, Avivo HD video and display technology enables superior quality and a high definition visual experience. Finally, let's have a listen to the video card's fan at different fan speeds. The video card driver sets the fan speed automatically, but it also can be set manually.
Like the 5870, this card, the 5850, performs extremely well. Now this card is a little bit smaller than the 5870, so it will fit in many more cases than the 5870. And also this card, of course, is a little bit cheaper than the 5870. So it's really a budgeting issue and a size restraint issue whether you're going to go with this card or the 5870. But you cannot go wrong with the 5850 video card. It performs really, really well and has all the technologies, including DirectX 11. So you'll have the card for quite a while. And remember, you can always do a multiple crossfire configuration later on down the road if you want to. Overall, this is without a doubt a kick-ass product. Until next time, take care.